Okay, let's pick up right where we left off. So we were talking about containers and components. Every, uh, every Java Swing program must have a top level container. One of the things you'll hear me say several times, uh, our top level container will be a J frame. So that's sort of the top of the hierarchy. Every GUI component must be part of a containment hierarchy. That means that every component must be in a container. And the root of the containment hierarchy is the top level container. In our case, the J frame. Now let me take just a moment to explain that. What do mean we mean by the root of the hierarchy? So recall there can be other kinds of containers, the most common being a panel or a J panel. We can place components into the panel, then we'll put the entire panel into the top level container. So you can have this whole hierarchy, this whole nested hierarchy of, uh, of containment. Each of our top level containers has something called a content pane. It's called a content pane and you'll see this in some of the code examples. Um, the content pane contains the visible, visible components in the top level containers GUI. So let's press on and look what are our specific top level containers. In Swing they are J frame, J applet, J dialog. We are most concerned with the J frame. Here, as you can see here, here's our containment hierarchy. Um, this content pane, this is, this is uh, you know, transparent. You won't see this. You just need to know that it exists. Here we take our labels. They're added to the content pane. Uh, and that's part of this top level container, the J frame. Um, now, exception, a menu bar, there's fully featured support uh, you know, using J menu and J menu item. There's full support for menus uh, in Java Swing. A menu bar can be added directly to the top level container. Now, you'll see code that looks like this. Frame, so here's our container, top level container, dot get content pane. You see that's a method call. It'll return the content pane. Dot add. So we're going to add to the content pane. We're going to add a component. Here's our component. The component is something in this case it's called my label. Uh, assume that's just a that's just a label component. That's just some text. Uh, a text component. Now here border layout dot center don't worry too too much for now about what that means what it means uh, it means it's going to be approximately in the center and note I say approximately it's going to be approximately in the center of the frame the default layout manager for J frame is something called border layout don't worry about that too much for the moment Okay, so let's look at something a little bit more concrete. So we'll press on. Uh, here is a code example, and this this type of material is really best understood with short, in my opinion, short, simple code examples is the best way to grasp this material. I've got this code for you, and we'll we'll look at it in in an editor in a second. But let's just take just a moment. So what have we got going here? Um, the here's your recipe. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a top level container, and that's a J frame. So here we're going to create a J frame. Um, here, this is your J frame right here. All this good stuff. This is your J frame. So here it's an object. Uh, whose name is frame, an instance of the J frame class. Here's the constructor, and the constructor you can put a little label in here, frame demo, and that'll that'll be uh, displayed up here. Um, now, optional. Next thing, step two, we want to set the default close behavior. So, what does that mean? It means what what happens 
when the X is pushed? What happens when we close the frame? We want, when we close the frame, we want the program to be over. Um, if we don't do something like this in a simple program like, uh, you know, like frame demo, the frame will be closed and we won't have any access to the program anymore, but it'll still be running in the background uh, taking compute resources. So we want to exit. We want to exit when the button is pushed. Uh, next step, we need to put something in to our frame. We've, uh, you know, we've got a container. Now we need to put some components into the container. So we're going to create a, a label and we're going to give it a size. So here we're going to create an instance of class JLabel. The name of the object is my label. And here, here's the constructor, just plain, plain Java, new JLabel. And in the constructor for JLabel, you can actually put the text. So JLabel is just a static, you know, just for, for static text. And it's this right here. Um, now, here, the next thing we want to do is we want to set, and let me just clean up here a little bit, okay. Uh, we'll set the size, the preferred size of the JLabel. And here in this example, uh, we're setting it, we're using one of these dimension objects. We're setting it to, two, and don't worry too much about what this is. Um, it's a tool for you to use. We're going to set it to 200 pixels by 100 pixels. So this is approximately 200 by 100. So we're going to set that. Uh, and what does that do? That gives us, uh, it gives us space for the label. Um, in this case, it's more space than we need. Uh, this is static text when it's displayed. If you click it, the user, the user can't really interact with it in any way. But it is changeable, changeable. We can change it later. So maybe we're going to change, you know, maybe we're going to need some more space for this later on. Uh, so we left ourselves a little room. Finally, we've created a label. We've given it a size. We want to add the component to the content pane. Now here, frame.getContentPane.add. We're going to add the label, and we're going to add it approximately in the center. Now you notice that it's not in the center. Um, it's not in the center because there's no other components at all in this frame. If there were other components of the right or left, it would try to place it in the center. This thing, border layout, this is called a layout. This is called a layout manager. And border layout is the default layout manager for JFrame. Now we're going to size the frame. Frame.pack just tries to automatically position the components for you. And now we need to show it. Frame.set visible true. Uh, if you haven't done this, uh, if you haven't done this, um, your frame will not be shown. So if you write some code and you go and you eagerly and anxiously run it and nothing happens, chances are you forgot to set your frame uh, to visible. Okay, we'll look at a code example, and uh, that's it for, for this video. We'll look at a code example next. Uh, see, see you then.